This morning we're going to learn how to set a value for a field or key. And this is going to be very similar to what we would do in SQL Server where we would set a specified column to a certain value <clears throat> and using a WHERE clause specifically for that value. Remember that in SQL Server, um, if you do not specify in the WHERE clause, it will hit every single column. So for instance, if I update table name and I set column name equal to blah, every single column will be updated if I do not specify which column, or I'm sorry, which um, row I want to be updated. So that's something to, to note about SQL Server. Um, for people who are new to SQL, uh, it's, you can make a huge mistake by not specifying where. So with Mongo, we're going to be looking at updating ID 4, and we want to update its address. And so very similar to SQL, as I mentioned, we're going to specify the where first. That is, we're going to specify the ID first, and then we're going to specify what we're going to do as far as the update. So that's kind of the syntax, and this is, will help get people familiar with how to update data. So we want to specify, first of all, the ID field. So ID4, and this is, again, in the world of SQL, this is the equivalent of our where clause here. We're, we're minimizing the impact. Um, in SQL, like I said, if you don't specify the where, it's going to hit everything. And uh, let's see here. And then we're going to call the set operation. So it's, of course, dollar sign set. This is going to set the field that we're going to call. And then in the curly brackets under set, we're going to say, hey, the address is, and in this case, we're going to say, let's, uh, let's four four one. we'll say 331, and we'll say 7th Street. And since this is a string, of course, we're adjusting accordingly. And then we'll end our update. And if we go back to find, you will notice that we set it to 331 uh, 7th Street. Note that in the curly brackets, of course, if we had multiple columns that we wanted to update, we would, of course, specify um, those multiple columns in there. In this case, we're just updating that. I'm sorry, I keep saying columns, multiple fields in there. So if you wanted to update, let's say if there was three fields, you would just pass in those uh, three fields with a comma and update those. Make sure, again, that you, of course, specify what it is that you want to update. Otherwise, it's like in SQL, if you are not careful enough, you might actually accidentally update the wrong row or rows.